Ooh, what do you think? Does that sound pretty good? <laughs> we start a band. <laughs> the Studio 3 band. Coming to you live every day from the WSAZ studio. Kidding. Yeah. We're not starting a band. No, no band Don't for worry. us. <laughs> but you know, you can learn a lot about the most popular musical instrument right now at the Clay Center. Right. Um, it is the newest exhibit. It is called Medieval to Metal, taking us through the evolution of one of the most iconic mm -hmm. instruments of the world, and that's the guitar. That's right. And someone who's going to help us out, we've got Liz Simmons here. No relation to Gene Simmons from Kiss? No, my mother's <laughs> name's Jean, spelled different. <laughs> we okay. will see one of the guitars that uh, they play, though, today. Yeah. Yeah. Liz, this is an awesome exhibit. Where where do we start? What I guess show us where this it all is, began. This sure. is one of the first guitars? Right. right this is one of the oldest models that inspires what we know of as the guitar today. This is a Middle Eastern instrument called an oud. Uh, so the oud was brought by North Africans uh, to Europe around 700 AD. And you can see it's a little different than the guitar. It's got this spherical back. It's got a lot of strings. Um, and it requires a pick to play, more like a violin than mm. like a guitar. So from here, uh, several hundred years later, we get the me medieval and Renaissance lutes and then eventually the acoustic guitar that we know and love. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah. What was, what was the next version? Great question. So everybody always wanted the guitar to be louder, right, mm -hmm. and more portable. Uh, so there's lots of different solutions to that problem. One here, in terms of portability, is the Chirango. So the Chirango <laughs> actually used an armadillo shell since about the 1700s. This model's been in use in South America. Uh, this region was really mountainous and didn't have extra trees to commit to making instruments. So they used the shell of this animal. Animal. Do they uh, still today? No, great question. Today it's endangered. So um, luthiers today make the shape out of wood, but they mimic the shell. How interesting. That's amazing. So Liz, what's next? You all have a lot of guitars. There, there. Yes. So the acoustic guitar gets bigger and louder, but I think a lot of folks will be interested to learn about the electric oh, guitar, yeah. right? A modern uh -huh. version. Yeah. Least, yeah. So the first electric guitar model is the Fender Telecaster right here. It started being used in 1949. Um, it's, it's lightweight, it's portable, it's got all the parts that can be interchanged, so it's more of an assembly line, right? It's not handcrafted anymore. And the colors, this is, you know, the golden age of guitar, 50s and 60s. They're mimicking sports cars. So this blue, placid, lake placid blue, is actually a GM. Cadillac model from 1958. Oh. So you can have your guitar match your car. Why wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> and I think a lot of people will probably be watching and think, okay, Fender, big name. Mm -hmm. Exactly. That a lot of people have come to know. Right. So Fender and Gibson are sort of the two biggest names mm -hmm. in guitars these days. Yeah, they're, they're the iconic shape of the electric guitar. We see this design, uh -huh. right, across all kinds of advertising and that sort of thing. Yeah, that's, that's the look right there. Yeah. Okay, Liz, what's next up on the tour? Mm -hmm. I'm eyeing, there's a really pretty red guitar over here. And I said, yes. I feel like if I were gonna play guitar, this is oh, the one that I would lean yeah. yes, Is this one of the more popular of the, um, the exhibit? I have seen a lot of folks, especially kids, drawn to it. It's eye-catching. Yeah, I like to say that it's what Barbie would play if she were a punk rocker. <laughs> um, Check that out. This is a cherry red acrylic warlock. Um, this model played by bands like Kiss, Motley Crue, Slayer, so real, you know, heavy metal um, rock stars. And it's it's just beautiful. It's uh, obviously funkier than some of the other models we've been looking at and still in production today. Liz, I noticed that one of these cases is empty over yeah, here. Yeah, I think this might be the guitar that we all know how to play. You're we're, we're exactly all not right. musically inclined, but right. how many times have we all done a good... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I so love it. A, a model we all know, as you point out, and this is a, a nice joke that we have in the exhibition, but really it has a history yeah. of rock groups, you know, from the 70s on, playing yeah. air guitar. Um, but, you know, we've only hit the highlights. There's a lot more to see in the exhibition. We have album covers with funky guitar designs. We have illustrations by a graphic designer who did ACDC's logo, really involved in the rock world. We have photographs of uh, famous guitarists playing their most known model of guitar, Gibsons and Fenders, so lots to see. So this exhibit closes May 28th. Plenty of time to get here and check it out.
We're going to keep working on our air guitar skills. Liz, this is not the only yes. thing that you have up here on this floor for families to enjoy. There's a totally different area on the other side. What else is yeah. up Yeah, just around the corner, we have our interactive art space area sponsored by Optimum. Let's check it out. Let's do it. Great.